Hello and welcome to our first lesson for grade 7. Today we will start with unit 6, lesson C, part 1, just my style. Let's look at our objectives for today. We have two objectives. Number one is to identify words about clothes. Number two is to write sentences using present continuous tense. Now let's read the words together. Shorts, cap. Raincoat, track suit, gloves, tie, coat, dress, jacket, shoes, scarf, socks, trainers, t-shirt, skirt, shirt, blouse, trousers, suit, sunglasses. Now. You are ready to have the first task. Look carefully. I want you to look at the picture, read the sentences, then write the correct sentence on your mini board or your papers. Here we have a picture of a trainers and we have three sentences. You should choose the correct answer. First we have, Tim is buying new shoes. B, we have, Rana is looking at gloves in the clothes market. And C, Bob is trying new trainers. So, we know that the answer is C. Bob is trying new trainers. Now, we are going to have five different questions. You will have five minutes, one minute for each one. Get ready, start. Very good. Now, we will check our answers. Number one, Tanya is looking at the dress in the clothes market. Number two, she is washing her shorts. Number three, Ted is wearing his tracksuit at the moment. Number four, she is wearing her sunglasses. And number five, Sarah is buying a new skirt for the party. Congratulations, you have achieved the first task. Now we are moving to the second one. Task number two. It is very easy for you. Now I need you to write the right words under the pictures. You have three minutes to do this task. Let's start.
Good. Now I want you to check your answers with me. We have shorts, cap, raincoat, tracksuit, gloves, tie, coat, dress, jacket, shoes, scarf. Let's move to the other slide. We have socks, trainers, t-shirt, skirt, shirt, blouse, trousers, suit, and sunglasses. Very good. Now, I think you have achieved the first objective. Now, let's move to the second one. Now, I want you to reorder the words to make sentences. For example, we have looking, is, at, shoes, he, full stop, the. Now, the best form for this sentence is he is looking at the shoes. As you can see here, we started our sentence with the subject, he, followed by the verb to be, is, and then we add the main verb, look, plus ing, so it's looking. And then we have the object, which is the shoes. Let's move to another example. We have am, shirt, a, buying, i, and full stop. The answer is we start with the subject, followed by the verb to be am, and then our main verb buying. Then we add the object, which is a shirt. From the previous examples, we have reached the conclusion for our grammatical rule for the present continuous tense, which is, if you want to form a correct present continuous sentence, you should follow these steps. First, you start with a subject or a name, followed by the, the correct verb to be, and then you choose the main verb plus ing that suits your situation of speaking. For our subjects, we have singular ones and plural ones. We have I, he, she, it, a name like Ali, Ahmed, an animal like the cat, the dog, or any another object like a plant, a flower. So, also we have plural ones. We have they, we, you, Ali and Ahmed, or you can add more names. Also, you have the cats. You can say the tables, the plants, or any another object. Then, you should choose the correct verb to be. Remember that you should use am with I. You can't use as with I or are. The same is for he with as. You can't use he am or he are. So we have, I am, he is, she is, it is, Ali is, the cat is, they are, we are, you are, Ali and Ahmed are, and the cats are. When we choose the best subject for us, or a name, then we follow it with a verb to be, then you choose your main verb plus the ing, like buying, or wearing, or cleaning. Now we can form a full correct present continuous sentence. Follow with me. I am buying. I can say, I am buying a jacket today. Also, I can say, she is wearing sunglasses. And we can say, you are cleaning your bedroom now. I want to ask you an important question. When do we use the present continuous tense? We use the present continuous tense to express an action that is happening in the time of speaking. When I say, I am teaching right now, you are studying at the moment. He is listening to me now. So, this is the proper usage for the present continuous tense. Let's go to our third task for today. 
Now I want to see if you got the present continuous tense right. We have here to rearrange the words to form sentences. Then we will check our answers together. On number one we have trainers, cleaning, Tom, now, is, his. For the second one we have washing, she, blouse, her, is, at the moment. You have three minutes to do this activity. I hope you are ready. Get set. Go. Very good. Now it's time to check our answers. Number one we have, Tom is cleaning his trainers now. And number two we have, she is washing her blouse at the moment. Now we are having the final and the main task. Number four, we will play the game of the spinning wheel. If the wheel stops on the picture of the shorts, the sentence is going to be, he is wearing new blue shorts. So, the wheel will spin five spins. You will have five minutes to answer this activity. You should write five sentences. I am sure that you are ready for this challenge. Hold your pens, get started.
Excellent work. I know that you got the five sentences correctly. Now we have here some suggested answers. Number one, we have Tanya is looking at the dress in the clothes market. Number two, we have Hala is looking for her sunglasses in the room. Number three, we have Peter is cleaning his raincoat at the moment. Number four, I am wearing my gloves because it's very cold. And the last answer is they are buying some socks for their son. Now we have reached the end of our lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Stay safe. Have a nice day.